In this DCS World video, I will cover the steps to execute a multi-JDAM attack using mark points utilizing the recently released A10C2 tank killer module. While there are no changes to mark point creation and management, there are some updates to the JDAM delivery display in the HUD which will be covered. Note I will not cover target area ingress or egress tactics. To start out, let's turn on the autopilot. This will reduce your workload and keep your hands free while we set up the JDAM attack. Select the targeting pod switch to on to power up the targeting pod. Laser to arm, master switch to arm. On the left MFCD, select the Dismiz page. Verify all bombs indicate ready. With the HUD as sensor of interest, press the master mode button to select CCRP. Then press DMS left or right to select the GBU-38 JDAM. On the right MFCD, when the targeting pod is ready, select TGP, then air to ground mode. To make the targeting pod the sensor of interest, press the coolie hat switch along in the direction of the MFCD, in this case to the right. Verify the laser designator mode LSR is set. Use the slew control switch to set the targeting pod crosshairs on the desired target area and or china hat forward long to an already established sensor point of interest, SPI. Using the boat switch, set the appropriate video mode to infrared black hot, CCD, or infrared white hot. Change the field of view using the china hat forward short command. Let's create mark points over each target. Press the nose wheel steering button to fire the laser at the first target, followed quickly by TMS right short to create your first mark point. Use of the laser is not required, but it will greatly increase the accuracy of each mark point. If you do not use the laser, TMS right short is the minimum required command to create a mark point. Slew the targeting pod to the next target. Press the nose wheel steering button followed quickly by a TMS right short to create the next mark point. Rinse and repeat until you have created six mark points for six JDAMs. Select the steer point selector to mark. You will see mark A in the HUD. Set the HUD to sensor of interest by pressing coolie hat up. Press DMS forward and or aft to cycle through the mark points. You should see six mark points, A through F. Cycle back to mark A, your first target. As we approach the target area, the left side of the HUD will display the dynamic launch zone, DLZ. The distance in caret will descend on the left side adjacent to the DLZ window. The letter R, followed by the time in minutes and seconds, displays the time until reaching the maximum limit on the upper portion of the DLZ window. Man release will appear when it is acceptable to release the JDAMs. The letter R changes to a T when within the DLZ and will display time to impact. Press and hold the weapon release button until the first bomb is released. Do not tap the button as it will result in a hung store. Press DMS forward to cycle to the next mark point, B. Press and hold the weapon release button until the bomb is released. Press DMS forward to mark C. Press and hold the weapon release button until the bomb is released. Rinse and repeat until all six JDAMs are released. Adjust your targeting pod as needed to watch the target area. I hope you found this video helpful for your DCS A10C flight operations. Thanks for watching.